I want to deal with a question. It may be controversial to some, but it is, why did God abandon his temple? A lot of people are obsessed with the idea of the rebuilding of the temple. That's why for decades there has been talk about the building of the third temple in Jerusalem. And these people never really ponder on why God abandoned his temple in the first place. He allowed the Romans to destroy it. I want to answer this question with a story. From the 1970s all the way up to the early 2000s, Wichita, Kansas was terrorized by a serial killer. He was known as the BTK Killer. BTK standing for bind, torture, and kill, a reference for what he would do to his victims. His real name was Dennis Ryder, and Dennis Ryder tried to present this persona that he was a family man and that he was very pious. He would go to church every Sunday. He would make his family go to church every Sunday. He was so liked in his church that he was even elected to be the president of the congregation. And in a way, he became something of an assistant pastor in the church. And those who knew him superficially, or those who were acquaintances of his, or those who knew him in his church, thought of him as a family man, as a pious man, as a conservative religious man. But Ryder lived a double life. You see, while he was playing churchianity in one moment, there were moments where he would act very, very diabolically. He would cross-dress, asphyxiate himself, uh, put himself through all sorts of sadistic torture because he was just pure evil. There's really nothing else to say about that. It's just evil. I'm not this type of person who wants to get into the mind of a criminal. They're just evil. They're liars. They're dishonest. They're evil. They break all of the commandments. And... From the 1970s all the way up to the early 2000s, Dennis Ryder would murder 10 people. He would do all sorts of sinister and twisted and depraved things to the bodies. But on the side, he was Mr. Churchianity, played the piety face. No one who knew him ever really expected him to be the killer. But then eventually, uh, Ryder got so cocky and arrogant that he would uh, send letters to the police, taunting the cops, giving them riddles, sending them poems, pretty sick stuff. And then one day he sent a floppy disk to the police. He thought that a floppy disk could not be tracked. And the cops put the floppy disk in a computer, and they found a reference in the floppy disk, which Ryder apparently forgot to delete, to his church. <laughs> and it was uh, a Church of Christ. I believe it was a Lutheran church. And they began to investigate the church, and uh, in the floppy disk, they found a file uh, that referenced the church, and it also referenced a man named Dennis. So who in the church is named Dennis? Well, the president of the congregation was named Dennis. What's his last name? Ryder. They got Ryder, got some DNA, tracked it. They, they matched it with the DNA found in a crime scene. It was the guy. They found out who was the one terrorizing Wichita, Kansas for all of these years. Eventually, Ryder's house was demolished. Nobody wanted to live 
in Ryder's house. Because who wants to live in the house of a mass murderer? Or any murderer, for that matter. Even if he murdered one person, who wants to live in his house? It's cursed. So the house was demolished. And to this day, it's a flat lot, vacant lot. No one lives on it. So let's go back over 2,000 years ago. God sends his son to earth. God the Father sends his son to earth. And his son is murdered. Who murders his son? The Pharisaical elites of Jerusalem. What's their house? The temple. God says, I'm not living in it anymore. I will not live in that house any longer. God abandoned his house. And not only did he abandon his house, he had it demolished. He had it torn down. And to this day, there is no temple. It's a vacant lot with just one wall on it. And people will revere this wall and bow down to it every single day, even though it's not even a part of the temple. It wasn't a part of the temple. It was just a wall surrounding the temple. But that's a different issue. The temple is no more. God abandoned it. Why? Why did people not want to live in Ryder's house? Because it was the house of a mass murderer. Why would God not want to live in his temple? Why would God no longer want to live in the temple? Because it was the house of murderers. So God abandoned it, and he tore it down. Because it was like as if Dennis Ryder was living in it. <laughs> why, why did God abandon the temple? <laughs> Because that's Dennis Ryder's house. No one wants to live in the house of a murderer. No normal person, no decent people want to live in a house of a murderer. So the house is abandoned. Just like Dennis Ryder's house. And just like the temple, which God abandoned because it was transformed into a house of murderers. Anyway. You guys just heard some Theo Lodgy. God bless.